Hi everyone, I've just oh, had the most exciting news. Start Monday, Monday the 3rd of February. I've just had the email, I've just emailed back to confirm a few things about uniforms and things because I haven't got a uniform yet. I'm assuming they're going to sort all that out in the first week. Oh my god. Oh, I can't wait guys, this is it. I can't wait. I'm going to vlog all about it Monday. Today is Thursday. So yeah, I'll let you know what happens next week. This is my first week as a newly qualified GP nurse, guys. Oh. Morning everybody. So this is it. My first day as a newly qualified nurse. Oh, it's very early and it's windy and it's cold and it's a little bit dark but I have my tea I'm ready for the day I'm so excited there's a hint of nerves now but it's not like nerves nerves it's just a bit like it's my first day at school kind of nerves mainly I am really really excited I can't wait can't wait to meet the team and just get stuck in I've been waiting for this day for so long I'm so excited guys but I'll let you know how it goes later okay bye me again so the trains are cancelled i checked them this morning and it just said it was delayed and i've just got there and they've literally cancelled them all oh. morning everyone you're gonna have to excuse this look i've just got awake and just got awake i've just woken up <laughs> got my little um cup mom because i've got two fluffy little children so yeah i didn't have enough time or chance to vlog yesterday about my day my very first day <sighs> good and bad <laughs> so i need to share the good first and then the bad's not bad it's just it's funny but it's bad so yeah my first day so i arrived really keen really excited so chuffed and I did all the ad admin stuff in the morning, um, did all my ID and paperwork, things like that, getting me set up on the computer system, ready for when I have my own patients. And then I sat with the nurse, two different practice nurses, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And we saw patients together, which is really, really nice. I sort of helped out as well. I wasn't just sat around helped out with wounds you know I love the wounds I saw some really interesting wounds as well that I'd never seen before and I also saw my first kidney stone I've never seen a kidney stone before and there was this kidney stone oh, I can't really go into too much details because confidentiality because it's quite a really specific way that this happened that it would never happen to anybody else and we were just like it's just amazed me how the body works and how the body can work its way to push kidney stones out of places yeah it was it was amazing to see and then we had a lot of ear examinations we had a leg ulcer we had someone bad sinuses and it, it spread into the ears and stuff we had some hypertension so we had to do the 24 hour blood pressure monitoring explaining all of that to them we had some injections so traveling injections we had hepatitis b injections we had toenail clippings as well i know toenail clippings this patient had some really bad sort of fungal nail infection and they wanted to take a clip in to send off to test things like that that was interesting all in all the day was amazing it was so good and the good thing is is they used the emis computer system i'm chuffed with this because in my gp placement that's what we used we used the emis computer system so i'm familiar with the system it's just because it was a while ago that i did that placement it's just refreshing my brain on where to click what to do I need to know what sort of blood tests to order for different things like the, the standard diabetic blood test, the standard NHS health check blood test that I'm going to have to do. Because these are the things that I'm going to be doing to start with is things like the blood testing and the NHS health checks, wounds, the things that I can do. I can't do smears, things like that because I haven't been trained in that yet. So once I've done those things on the course, which I'm going to do, with that starts in May. I'm so excited to vlog all about the course. So all in all, I the first day was amazing. And then it got to the end of the day. <laughs> so this is the bad bit. So at work, there's a staff car park at the back of the building. And there's a really tight, to go into the car park, there's this narrow little alleyway and then a sharp right. And then you've got the cars parked all along there. So you're sort of trying to squeeze out. But I've got, I was driving like a four by four. And I looked at the space and I was like, I can get in there. So I got in, no problem. Could I get out of the space? <laughs> I was sat there for 10 minutes trying to get out of the car park and I was there reversing, going back, um, going forward, reversing, going forward, trying to get work my way round this little tiny space. 
and then I was concentrating on the front of the car because there was a wall so I was thinking oh I don't want to scrape all my lights and bash my lights in so because I was concentrating that I didn't see how close the edge of the wall was to my car and I scraped all the side of my car I was like oh and then I got stuck so I was like oh I'm gonna have to reverse back out with this and I reverse back out like oh and then I just sat in the car park and I was like I'm stuck I can't get out I'm gonna have to spend the night in the car park but then some of the other people come and move their cars out of the way so that I could um, reverse into their space and then go out straight out so I didn't have to go around the corner oh anyway it was, it was so embarrassing I'm sure I'm going to be the talk of the clinic today but anyway today's a new day so today I've got a load of stuff to do before I even start work so I'm in at one one until half six this morning I've got a lot of work to do I know even though I've got the morning off so yesterday I forgot my notepad I know I'm the most organized person ever who forgets their notepad on their first day of work <laughs> me so I went in and she's like have you got a pen and pa uh, pen and pad to write this down I was like oh my god I was like I'm gonna have to steal some paper she's like have you got a pen I was like <laughs> gonna have to steal a pen but I did have a pen up in my bag I just left my bag upstairs so I had a pen so I had this pen so I've got all these bits of paper and pen of all my notes from the day and what to do and things like that that I've been writing down now I'm gonna have to write them all in my notepad that I forgot to take so they're all a bit more organized because right now I've got bits of paper okay here we go so these are literally my notes and I've wrote on like this blood form it's an old, it's um like a mickey mouse joke blood form it's not a real one i've got this <laughs> it's just pages and pages like that and then i printed out this yesterday if you're looking for a bit more phlebotomy training and the order which you should take your bloods and what they're for and the different colored bottles this is really good just google this with this this will be one of the first ones that comes up. This is really, really helpful. The nurse that I was with yesterday showed me this. I was like, yes, I need to print this off when I get home in colour. So I printed that off last night. And yeah, so now I've got my book <laughs> with all the different sections that I'm going to write in. And I'm going to make this better. I'm going to print out a nice quote or something to stick on the front. So that, yeah, I'm reminded to have an amazing day every day I look at it. So that is it. So I'm going to stop talking now because this is already like seven minutes long or something ridiculous. I will let you know how my day goes later. I think I've got my first patient booked in tomorrow on my own. So yeah, it's only things like, like I said, blood tests and things because I can do bloods. Like in sexual health, I was trained to do blood, so I can do blood tests. It's just this that I need to remember the orders that I take things from. I'm with the girl today who does all the blood testing. So I'm going to train with her. She's going to watch me do bloods, sign my competencies off for that today. And then I can start doing them. And I'm really, really happy with that. People might think, oh my God, you're on your own already. It's like your third day. I'm happy with that, guys. Trust me, the computer system is fine. The only way I'm going to learn it is by just doing it. That's the way I learn. So I'm happy with that. And I said that to the manager as well, because yesterday we had um, another patient with a different type of wound. She's booked in for Thursday, I think it was. She's booked in for Thursday, but this nurse wasn't there. So she won't see the wound because they like to keep the same nurses and doctors. And she said, would you want to do it with Claire? Because Claire will be here on Thursday and she's seen the wound. She's seen how I do it. It's really simple. It's like a really simple wound. I was like, yeah, I said, just book her in. Like, there's no harm in that. I'm really happy with that. I've done wounds before. I was on the district nurse placement. So I'm, I've am i got no problem with that. So she booked her in with me. And then I just went up and I said to the manager, I've, I've booked in a patient with me on Thursday, if that's okay, because I've seen the wound and I know what it looks like. So it'd be good for me to do again. She was happy with that. At first she was like, what? No, don't take your own patients. And I said, I'm okay with it. It's okay. Anyway. Bye, everyone. I see you, I'll see you later or I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. So it is Thursday today. I haven't had a chance to vlog. I'm really, really sorry. So just a quick update. Tuesday, I was in one till half six and I literally just had my bloods um, signed off. So there was a lot of blood patients I saw with another um healthcare assistant there so i sat there she signed me off and now i can do bloods on my own yay which was lucky because yesterday shift half eight to half past six was a fun one so i went in and there was a nurse off sick and all of her patients had to be cancelled so we looked at the patients and it was all blood tests and wounds 
So I sat there and I said, I can do that. I can literally do those patients because I know the computer system now. I can do wounds. I can do bloods. I've been doing them for however long now. So let me do them. I felt confident. I felt competent to do it. You know, this is what I am now. I am a newly qualified nurse. I need to start doing things. So yeah, so I agreed with the other nurse that was there at the time that I would take on these patients. I was fine with that. I was happy with that. I had my own room, my own clinic. It was beautiful. So yeah, so I did that. I did make a little mistake in the morning. Luckily, the nurse was still there because I was just like oh, mortified. I had a patient um, who come in for a blood test. I wasn't too sure what sort of blood test he was coming in for. So when I look back on the notes, I saw the doctor had input something just for like full blood count, things like that. So I did those bloods, the patient went home. Then I looked at a little slip that he'd left, the patient had left for me for a different type of blood test which I hadn't took because it's a completely different bottle, completely different set of bloods. I was there like, oh my God, why didn't I check with the patient what blood test he was here for? Why didn't I do that? Yeah, so I learned massively from that mistake and straight away I went to the nurse and I said, I'm really sorry, I haven't done this. I looked on the system, it was this, this and this. I didn't see the slip. And she was like, oh, don't worry about it. We'll just call the patient, blah, blah, blah. And I said, yes, this is absolutely on me. I need to call this patient. So I called the patient, left a message because it was a voicemail and they called back, happy patient, he's okay. So yeah, it was all okay in the end, but it was just my first mistake and I was absolutely mortified. However. The rest of the shift went amazing. Oh my God, I ran that clinic on my own. <laughs> Guys, I ran in the clinic and I was okay, I survived. So I am chuffed. I left that clinic so, so honest to God. My heart was full of joy and happiness because I was so proud of myself for handling the situation. Every single patient was fine. I, oh, I'm just, I was chuffed. I'm still chuffed at how I handled that. In the afternoon, the other nurse went. So it was just me, a doctor, the pharmacy were on site, so we have on-site pharmacy where I am. We had an amazing admin team and reception. And even though I was on my own, doing my own clinic, I didn't feel alone yesterday. It was amazing. I had a whole team behind me supporting me. And I, they don't get enough credit, these teams. The pharmacists that you work with, the admin, they are amazing. Use them. If you're a newly qualified nurse, please go to them and use them if you need help because they're amazing. They're so knowledgeable and fantastic. I can't thank them enough. Honest God, a huge thank you to the team and the IT guy. The IT guy upstairs helped me out so much with the computer stuff as well. I just, I owe my soul to these guys for yesterday because it was amazing. And I only had to call the doctor once to help me out. So I was happy with that. So all in all, an amazing day. So I was chuffed, yeah. I'm really happy with that. I also had a really, really nice message, I have to say. So on our computer system, we have internal screen messages that you can send each other so you don't have to go disturbing them on the rooms. So it just pops up on the screen when you're with a patient. And I had a message from the other practice, from the nurses there saying, I'm really sorry that you're on your own, but we are all here if you need us. Please ring us, message us, whatever you need. We are here, don't feel like you're on your own. And that was just so lovely. It made me feel like, honest to God, on top of the world, it was really nice to know that actually they'd heard that I was on my own and that there was support there if I needed it. And I, I just can't thank them enough. It was amazing. It was such a nice day. I can't, I can't explain the feeling I, I have right now in my soul. It's amazing. And I'm so excited to go in today. Oh, also, I had a... Oh had a very dramatic journey home so i was on the train home and i heard the train inspector is there a doctor or a nurse on the train i was like oh, that's me this is my time <laughs> i've never heard that being shout before so i was like um me i'm here <laughs> you didn't abuse me so i walked down to the aisle i saw this guy he was having a seizure and i was like okay there's not much you can do for a seizure other than wait it out protect the head time the seizure so that's exactly what i did another nurse arrived on site and a first aider this guy was in the best hands he had three people all medically trained amazing well not medically trained but a nurse a nurse and a first aider first aider had his head he was keeping that safe the first aider he was amazing honest to god he was fantastic but he was so knowledgeable he knew exactly what to do in that situation the other nurse was incredible as well. She checked for ID of the patient. I got the patient's phone. So I looked for, the first thing I looked for is the medical ID. So I know on my phone, I've set up emergency medical ID. If you have this on your phone, if you've got an Android or iPhone, you will have this on your phone. So make sure you set it up. If you don't know how to Google it, I'm not going to explain because this video is going to be a hundred hours long and I feel like I'm talking a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
but look into how to set it up on your phone because that helped me so much. Luckily, this patient had done that. He had no epilepsy. He had his next to kin on there. He had his date of birth, no known allergies. Fantastic. It was so helpful. So when the paramedics arrived on scene, I was able to hand that over to them. This is what I found job done. I also could contact his next to kin, which was really, really helpful. She told me so much about his condition and where his doctor's based, things like that. Again, I could hand that over to the paramedics when they arrived. Fantastic. Really, really good. We all worked really, really well together. Eventually, we did get him onto the floor and put him in the recovery position when he sort of come round. So yeah, so... It's, it was just amazing. It was such a tiring day. I'd literally got home, showered and got into bed. I was so tired. I was gone by nine, half nine, easy. So that's it. That's all I've got to report, really. Today I'm in one to half six. I'm going to be sitting in, I've got my own bloods to do. And then I'm going over to the other practice to sit in with the nurse and do some respiratory stuff which is like the spirometer and things like that. So that'll be really, really interesting. And then tomorrow I'm half eight to half six. So unless anything exciting or anything happens, I'm not going to vlog anymore this week just because I don't think I'm going to have enough chance to do it until for Sunday. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you all have an amazing week. I hope you've had a fantastic, like I've had the best week. I hope you've had such a good week like I have. And yeah, all I need to say is my first week as a newly qualified nurse is going amazing. I am loving life. This is where I'm meant to be. This is my dream. And I am so happy right now. I cannot explain it. It's fantastic. Have a great week, guys. Embrace the week. Embrace everything. Give yourself new opportunities. Throw yourself in at the deep end and just do it. Like, it's the best way I've learned. Honest to God. Enjoy.